A coffee table that's for board gaming? What the heck? Man, this is a board game table, but kind of not one for your game room. So let's get into it. We've covered tons of board gaming tables here at Shelfside and built some of our own multiple times. But now this is slightly out of our wheelhouse with it being a coffee table. Many moons ago, we covered the Origins table, a big board gaming table from Game Theory Tables. And now they went ahead and sent us another Origins that is a coffee table. So goodbye old coffee table that was breaking apart. Is that even a coffee table? I don't even know. We stress tested this spanky new coffee table with multiple games, and I even got some solo time with it, with some non-board gaming activities. For MSRP costs, the table, topper, and the 5 game mats we've been provided are just north of $3,000 with a lifetime warranty. I mean, that's a big chunk of change, but it's like 50% off right now, that's nice. Still not cheap for some good wood, but hooray for free shipping. FYI, Shelfside is pretty buddy-buddy with Game Theory Tables, as they've sponsored multiple videos of ours and sent us the Origins table previously, and now this Origins coffee table. But we're still gonna get into the things we like and are concerned about, and if something worth north of 3,000 bucks could be for you. Assembly time! Nothing too special here, it arrives at your place in a bunch of cardboard boxes from the nice delivery man, and it's not too heavy moving it around. It's like shrink wrapped, you know? Yeah. 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 Why can't my board games come like this and uh, not damage the minis, you know? Here we go, making coffee table time. A lot of things to unwrap. Assembly is straightforward with just screwing stuff in. I mean, there are some connections that aren't perfect, but that's why we have so many connections, right? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Woo. Oh, is that recording? Yes. All right. I think you should do this with two people. Okay. Okay. Ah. Just lift up. Yep. Okay. There you go. Oh wow. Ah, okay. Oh wow. Beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, it's just good for this room too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm thinking. Good things. We gotta start with the good wood. And man, do I like this Japanese Zen? Japanese Zen color profile. I kind of wish we got our other origins in this color, honestly. It's just so much brighter. Having this in this room now just makes the room feel more lively, more bright. With the topper removed, it definitely is the center fold of this room without feeling over the top. And when I do use the topper, I like how the wood still frames the play mat on the edges. Okay, we got to get into the topper, the main thing about this Origins coffee board gaming table. It raises up the playing surface by about two and a quarter inches from the initial coffee table for a huge gaming surface. To convert, just slot and roll in the three topper pieces and lock them in. Pretty fast to do, but it's a teensy bit heavy for one person. For reference, this expanded playing surface is the exact same as a normal Origins table. So you can pretty much fit most games in here, but do note that you don't have the armrest anymore. So you don't have quite as much space as the normal Origins table. Oh yeah, no more armrests compared to the normal gaming table. So let's talk about posture. With the raised surface, it's actually pretty comfortable, at least relatively speaking for playing on a coffee table, right? We're sitting on a couch. My back is not really taking as much strain as it would for a normal coffee table. The surface itself is the same exact one as the Origins normal table. It's a sleek playmat that does all the soft surface bells and whistles you need to move pieces. And underneath it is the secret compartment to put pieces while playing, or even your phone. You could put some granola bars or something like that to snack on while gaming. Oh, they also sent us five mats, so here's how all of them look. So there's not the true armrest rail thing, but there's still this little lip, and I thought it wouldn't help much to prevent components from moving out, but it actually, it does do the job. Dice when rolled fairly gently, don't go over, and it's nice to have a little wall for your cards so they don't fall over the table. Oh, and I guess you could put the mats into these carrying cases and walk around to your friend's house or whatever. Not strictly coffee table related, but you can make your friend's tables immediately better. Uh, you know what? You can actually put the mats inside the coffee table, because underneath the inside layer of the topper is this mat massive hole. So you can fit mats, playing accessories, but most importantly, games. I mean, if you want to hide anything super secret in your house, maybe you put it here too, because what robber is going to check this, right? More quality of life stuff includes the underneath area to store more games, TV remotes. It's just coffee table stuff, you know? And then even if you're not gaming, you can just put the topper on and have a lot of space. We had six guys all eating chips off the topper. Yummy, yummy.
We don't have any big concerns, but we do want to start with how this build construction is very similar to the normal origin stable. It is the same company, so they share a lot of the same ideas like the hollow legs. There is also some slight shakiness in the whole thing overall, but it's really not that bad. The shakiness I am more concerned about is the topper. Since it's mounting nature via wheels, it's just going to have some shakiness. It hasn't been an issue at all during gameplay, but it's something you might be concerned about for your games. Plus, one of our buddies is noting how it'll sink down if you use it to lift yourself up. But honestly, I don't use a coffee table to push myself up and I'm not sitting on the ground anyways. Then I just cannot escape this blemish on top of the table. Ah, it's a very weird piece of wood that seems to be joined a bit weirdly. Duh, whatever, I only noticed it on like the second day. And we're going to be using a cloth to protect the top most of the time anyways. Then these little roper guys to cushion the placement of the top wood are starting to move and some have disappeared on me, huh. The glue just might not be very strong and also I'm putting the topper down by myself so it's putting more friction sideways. If you're putting the topper down with two people, these rubber things would not be moving as much. Then these mats are just a little bit too long lengthwise. I would say probably a centimeter or so too long. I mean, I'd rather it be bigger than smaller, so not too bad of a thing. Just kind of a weird sizing oversight. Lastly, they're touting this vault area to play more types of games, where you don't actually install the topper and just leave this bottom area like so. And I don't really see anyone using this to play board games. It's just gonna be weird, why would you use this when you have a mat? But maybe if you have kids and you need a very specific box region, uh, I, I, I don't really see it. This very idea of a board game coffee table that transforms down into a normal coffee table is actually kind of a perfect fit for me. Why is that? Well, I already have a normal board gaming table. So that is gonna be for the vast majority of gaming, but sometimes that table is holding other games for filming and I want a table to play solo games for review. Sometimes it's a campaign game too that needs to be kept there for a couple days at minimum so I can't use the dinner table that is also sometimes a little bit dirty with food stuff. And then I don't have to use our breaking apart old coffee-ish table from Ikea that was not so great. While playing, it feels like I get swallowed up by the game in a good way, where the POV of a massive coffee table is quite an immersive thing. While I like the armrest borders of normal board gaming tables, sometimes it's nice to not have those and just have the surface still. Also gone are the days I'm using side tables in this room. It's comfortable to play guitar on with the wood, sitting down and standing up a little bit. It's not too heavy to move around by myself without the topper. And the secret compartment is just so cool to have as a concept. Can't wait to see what I can hide in here. Hey, look, maybe I'm just starved for a newer coffee table, but I'm just really liking this one. It's really saying something to me. Look guys, I know I'm in a very niche, very lucky situation. Like I really doubt there's people out there who want to set up their games in new areas because they want to get away from their camera gear at night because their other gaming table has been taken up. So I really don't think you should be using me as a comparison. And if you're watching this video, I think you should start with a table. It doesn't have to be a board gaming one, just a nice normal one. But we have plenty of videos talking about board gaming tables in general. However, for those of you with small apartments and or just like to do light gaming on coffee tables, this might be something to look at if you can afford it. The whole gang had a nice time playing coup on it, and playing on couches is a way different vibe than playing on chairs for that one. Anyways, they are having a big sale on this right now, so if it's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and use our code and pick up one. Remember, you gotta get the leaf expansion here, and then at least one mat. If you can afford it too, it's lifetime warranty, so go ahead and use our code SHELFSIDE. But uh, yeah, this coffee table is really quite an interesting thing. Well, that was a board game coffee table. Yeah, interesting combination there. Yeah, I'd really like to see what you guys think because uh, I haven't heard about board game coffee tables much. Maybe this is just right for what you need. Let me know, I'm, I'm really curious. Also, big thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. You guys right over here. Thank you guys so much. We also got our Mad Lads of Cardboard right here. Anyways, that's the video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Okay, bye-bye. I'm gonna go play guitar or something.